What's going on guys, bringing another trade sim today. I think we all know how this one's gonna go, but I had to make a video on it. The Vegas Golden Knights trade Marc-Andre Fleury, the current Vezina Trophy winner for best goal in the league, the Chicago Blackhawks, for essentially nothing. Uh, no offense to Hakkarainen, but he's been playing in the AHL, ECHL the past couple seasons, and he gets traded for the Vezina winner, Marc-Andre Fleury. I can't believe it. Obviously, Vegas Golden Knights need salary cap. Um, in game, they're actually over the salary cap, which is why Flurry's making less than he's supposed to, 6.86 million there, post to 7. Uh, you can see he's 35 years old, so he's 36 now. I've got him at 90 overall. As I'm using my custom rosters for this, so Chicago's roster is accurate. EA I think still had him like an 89, so very high rated goalie. And even still in game at 90 overall, he has less value than Leonard, who's 3 overall below him, simply due to being older and on a more expensive contract. Again, what can you really say about Marc Andre Fleury? I mean, dude just won the Vezna. I believe the first Vezna of his career to go along with three Stanley Cups, an Olympic gold medal being drafted first overall back in 2003. I actually want to take a quick look at his career stats there. So 0 0.912 save percentage of 2.57 goals against. Obviously, that'd be even higher this year after uh, posting a Vesna caliber season. So um, pretty crazy. You know, he was the face of the team, I'd say, from the expansion draft till now, even though he was the goalie, one of the leaders in that locker room, and they trade him away for nothing. Like, I'm surprised they retain 50% trade with a team that really needs a goalie upgrade, say, Edmonton Oilers or a team like that. I don't know why they would be all over this. I feel like Fleury at 50% is a lot better than most of the free agent goalies out there. And like I mentioned, Chicago basically gives up nothing for him. Like, I'm going to sort by trade value. And I feel like this guy's probably at the bottom. He's pretty close. So what is that? One, two, three, four, six off the bottom. Basically tied all the bottom values there. Um, Hacker Ryan in 2268, medium bomb six, which again is probably a little bit generous looking at his past couple seasons. Really hasn't played that much either. Fifth round pick back in 2018. So uh, I don't think there's any way Chicago does not do this. Um, yeah, we'll see if they want uh, Marc Andre Fleury for free. And shocker, the Blackhawks say yes. And so as of right now, guys, Vegas Golden Knights goalies heading into next season are Leonard as the starter and Dance as the backup. I could definitely see them signing a more veteran backup. Leonard, of course, though, is a good starting goalie. And I feel like everyone kind of knew they were going to move on from Flurry after they signed him to that deal. Uh, I think it was $5 million for five years. You don't sign a guy for that kind of money, that kind of turn to be your backup goalie. Combined, they're making $12 million. Bucks. Way too much money. Uh, to pay your goaltenders, especially when you have two caliber starters. If it's Montreal, $10 million to Price, $2 million to Allen is the backup. It makes a bit more sense, but it's still a lot of money. Um, so I guess, you know, this move does make sense from a financial standpoint, but just from kind of like, I don't know, uh, the fan perspective, the loyalty perspective, everything else, it doesn't look great. And next, you guys are going to try to check from Chicago's perspective. I've already added Hacker Ryan in. You can see that the computer actually has Mark andre Fleury on the trade block. So uh, even in the game, they recognize, you know, their two goals just cost too much money. And they're going with Leonard over Flurry, so uh, I think that's interesting. Now, they're going to give him to us for free? I don't think so. I have the trade release set to medium. I think even on easy, very easy if that was a setting, they're going to say no to this. And yeah, trade is rejected. So even though they get some salary cap space, they still value him a bit more, which makes sense to me. I still can't believe they had to give away the Vezina winner. Like, that's nuts. Also, guys, I actually wanted to show you some tweets I saw on Twitter. Uh, just some interesting, I think, points about this trade. The first one was Bo Bennett, uh, former teammate of Marco De Fleury's back when they played on Pittsburgh. He said, Fleury's the best goal this teammate I've ever played with. A lot of people would agree. Treats everyone like gold. It's crazy how he gets traded in the hockey world. Hashtag first ballot. I have to agree with them. Like, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen, like, the sword in the back picture, but uh, now there's two swords in the back after this latest move from the Vegas Golden Knights. And I have to agree with Bo Bennett here. Like, they benched him for Leonard last playoffs. They then gave Leonard the extension, of course. This year, Flurry was clearly the better goalie. They then benched him after one bad performance in the conference final. Now they trade him for nothing, one year left. And not only that, but this tweet here says how a source close to Mark Andre Flurry, so the trade is done, and that the Vezina Trophy winner found out through Twitter. So uh, if that's true, definitely not a good look for Vegas. You'd hope they have a bit more respect for him than that. And Mark Andre Flurry's agent actually tweeted out saying, well, Mark Andre Flurry still hasn't heard from anybody with the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, so again, suggesting, you know, he found out on Twitter. He's apparently been traded Chicago. Mark Andre will be taking time to discuss the situation with his family and seriously evaluate his hockey future at this time. So the one rumor actually was if Fleury got traded from Vegas, he would just straight up retire from hockey, aside from maybe an exception for Pittsburgh. But uh, since that's not the case, very curious to see what happens here. I mean, even if he retires, Chicago loses nothing. Like, huge reward if he plays for them. Literally no risk. As he signed his current contract before he was 35, so won't still be on the books if he does retire. So 
pretty crazy uh, to see, you know, Vegas Golden Knights give up on them like that after how well he played for them last season. Like, I don't know. Obviously, Vegas Golden Knights are an expansion team. My favorite team is the Red Wings, but uh, definitely not a fan of them, you know, pulling this move on Marc-Andre Fleury. Vesna winner, I feel... I don't know, you gotta treat him a little bit better than that. And this is kind of crazy, guys. I was wondering the last time a Vesna Trophy winner was traded, and apparently it's never happened before. Uh, it says it's the first time in 20 years the reigning Vesna winner was traded before the next season, and the fact that the first time it happens, he was traded for nothing, like, I still can't wrap my head around it. You'd think if a Vesna Trophy winner was traded, it would be a huge return, and maybe the team had a really good uh, young goalie coming up. Vegas, of course, does have Leonard, but uh, to get nothing back for Flurry, I mean, I guess it's just the consequence of the salary cap era. A lot of times it doesn't really matter about the talent of the player. All that matters is their contract and are they worth or not, which um, I think is definitely one downside to having such a low salary cap in the NHL. Now, I wanted to point out this too. Chicago Blackhawks team stats there is still seller even after adding Marc-Andre Fleury in net along with Seth Jones on defense. So uh, the upgrade from Boquist to him and adding Fleury somehow doesn't have them not as a rebuilder essentially, which is very surprising to me. But... Flurry Lincoln, if Flurry does play for Chicago, is a solid goalie duo. Of course, the big trade for Jones on defense. I do wonder, like, part of me, the uh, cynic part, if Chicago's making all these big moves to try and distract from the current controversy they're in with the investigation. I don't know, like, are they related? Maybe, maybe not. If not, it's quite convenient they're making all these big trades while that's going on. Now, in terms of Flurry on the Chicago Blackhawks, I'll give you guys your first look. I'm hoping he's not wearing the Vegas Golden Knights gear. He is. That doesn't really match that well with the Blackhawks jersey. Also, Flurry in the Blackhawks jersey. It doesn't look right. I'm not going to lie. Vegas Golden Knights didn't look too bad at home because I think, you know, they are similar colors to Pittsburgh. You know, the black and gold. Chicago there. Uh, definitely a weird look seeing Mark andre Flurry there in the Blackhawks jersey. But that's going to do it, guys, for this video. I think we all know, obviously, Chicago won this trade. But just let me know your thoughts on this trade. And, you know, Vegas Gold Knights giving away Flurry for nothing. And how it all went down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this one, I'll leave a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the sub button. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.